What's up, my nabooers? And look at this fancy pants. Yeah, that's right. Nabu has its own online chat service now. <laughs> of course, I'm the only one who knows about it because I just published it. So why don't we set this up and log in? Oh, that handle's been taken. All right, I guess I'm gonna be uh, Bob. <laughs> oh yeah. I just had to uh, film this because somebody joined and I'm actually having the very first conversation. This is the first time ever that the NABU is being used to communicate with other people over the internet. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. So this person I'm talking to is in California and there was just a slight earthquake as well. So that's, uh, that's scary. <laughs> this is, I can't just, I, I can't get over this. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my God, I'm so giddy right now. Oh, this is so cool. Minus the fact that yes, he experienced an earthquake in California. That's, that's not the good giddy part. It's just the fact that I'm talking to him using uh, some time traveling. Can hit a uh, question mark here. It tells me that there's a couple people online. We had one other person online before I grabbed the camera. Someone going by Mimi or Meme. So whoever that was, if you're on YouTube, we uh, <laughs> enjoyed the chat too. <laughs> Pretty wild, right? So now, <laughs> so now Nabu is seriously <laughs> on the internet and it is seriously doing what uh, John Kelly and some of my family who worked there wished it would have done and by directional communication. So <laughs> that's pretty wild. Um, some other features of the new network adapter is you have the ability here to change to different cycles and also different programs as they get uploaded. So for example, we got this Hello Nabu Bounce we can select. And here I'll just hit Escape and hit Yes to exit. And now we just loaded a new program. <laughs> which is terribly annoying. And then we also have a scan code, code viewer. Stop that. So as more homebrew applications get updated, um, we'll have more stuff to show. So this is just a scan viewer. So you can see joystick button codes and um, keyboard codes, things like that, just to aid with the programmer. So we'll continually add new homebrew stuff as they're produced. But for right now, um, we'll probably scale up and I'm going to add a few more features to, to uh, RetroNet chat eventually. Probably do a little bit more like a BBS style. <laughs> but <laughs> how cool is that? Well, I hope to see you guys online.